Winter is coming. Bring the heat. Hi, this is Mike Lipkin. It's November 8, 2013, and I am in Toronto. It's getting dark, damp, and cold. The leaves are falling fast, and winter is definitely coming. It's time to bring the heat. It's time to spice things up. It's time to add your extra strength. It's time to finish strong. It's time to get your wings on. Seriously, one of the biggest consumer trends sweeping the continent is the hunt for heat. Hot chili peppers are finding their way into menus from Subway to Frito-Lay. USA Today states that we are developing an obsession with heat. Hot chili sauce has showed up on the menus of 47 different restaurant chains in the last year alone. The spicy flavor trend is transitioning from straightforward heat to sophisticated layers of flavor. The trend has gained momentum as consumers become more familiar with a variety of ethnic cuisines and they're willing to reach beyond products that feature traditional flavors and experiment with new ones. Every six months, Kelsic Inc., a food research company in Michigan, publishes its heat sink index that tracks the usage of more than 30 different peppers in the United States and Europe. In the first six months of 2013, the U.S. and European indexes have posted strong increases, with the U.S. index up 38% and the European Union index climbing 26% over the previous six months. Hot is hot. <laughs> and that's why one of my favorite brands is Tabasco. It's 143 years old, and it's made in much the same way as it was in 1870. It even looks the same. It is sold in 165 countries around the world, and it's hotter now than it's ever been. The copy says it's made from special peppers fermented naturally in wood for three years. And just a drop gives delicious flavor to hamburgers, egg, tomato juice, and salads. <laughs> it also says that you should add Tabasco directly to seafood and always to soups, stews, and gravies. <laughs> so what's your Tabasco factor? What's your secret sauce? What enables you to give delicious flavor to your offerings? Because the opposite isn't an option anymore. Bland is blah, it's forgettable, it's average, it's mediocre, it's uninteresting and unsatisfying. It's even insulting because it signals that you don't think your customer is worth the extra effort. So bring the heat means making every aspect of your offering appetizing to others. It means differentiating your way in any way possible. It means creating your own Tabasco factor that gives your words bite. Remember, just a drop will do you. <laughs> so here is Lipkin's recipe for bringing the heat. Let's begin with the ingredients. You need the will to win, a willingness to experiment, a sense of humor, a desire to stimulate others, an aversion to boredom, an understanding of one's customers, a grasp of the key trends redefining one's industry, mastery of the fundamentals, a rich imagination, and a team of like-minded creators. Then here's the method. One, define your AMP, appetizing meaningful promise. This is your unique and compelling benefit that makes your customers salivate and stimulates their hunger for more. Two, make your appetizing meaningful promise irresistible. Wrap it in a message that the customer wants to consume. Match it to your customer's tastes and preferences. Set it apart from the ordinary with your blend of secret herbs and spices. Keep it fresh, give it some bite, and make it a pleasure. <laughs> Three, always serve hot. Deliver it with passion and delight every time. Demonstrate your enjoyment and your thrill. Don't be afraid to make it up in front of the customer. Don't rush it and never show fatigue, anxiety, or frustration. And number four, get feedback on your offering. Mix it up. Use all the ingredients available to you. You are never out of the kitchen when you are the one bringing the heat. <laughs> this is Mike Lipkin, and I wish you a fabulous finish to 2013. Smoking. <laughs>